Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello class, this is our 11 meeting. Rule of ESP in business, you know, the sound for its ESP is English for specific to forces in business. Coba kita lihat. Let's see. Oh ya. Yeah. Making a business. Yes, I said that before my slide topic is about business concept sorry I forgot about that I said before that uh, presenting your CV uh, CV is a uh, curriculum vitae related with the uh, writing skill what we call it writing skill but just the, I, I need your speaking skill and reading skill for the first step to master or to make a little habit in, in using English. <coughs> Enables you to more effective, effectively and fully communicate in English during day-to-day -day workplace scenarios. Uh, ensure that you are proficient in the use of English for email communication. Yakinin diri kita bahwa kita tuh mampu ya menggunakan bahasa Inggris untuk komunikasi via email. This is very important. Ya. One of the step of the ESP English for specific purpose in business. And then having the superior level of English language communication skill is especially helpful if your employer requires you to correspond in English with client and customer from around the world around the world I said it ini gak ulang right? yeah. having a very yeah. so you have what we call it uh, ada basic English basic yeah. kemudian ada kemudian ada intermediate kemudian ada advanced itu in our course ya sometimes we take many class but we never practice we don't have habit for this so hard to practice to using to use this uh, language especially English. yeah we talk about English sometimes having this very like you have to make sure yourself uh, sometimes you need like certificate yeah to know uh, to make sure matter that you have competent about English itself yeah maybe intermediate level yeah and then and in scholarship pun like, like that yeah uh, there, there are so some type little requirement about certificate of English itself we have to prove we have to see we have to give and we have to fill the form of the scholarship itself and then we have to give we have to upload of the proof certificate itself to make committees believe us or we have a competent of English itself and then same like in, in English in our business itself in having this very level of English so that's why it's very important for you to maybe uh, you wish that you got you, you know you, in a job, of course, we have a level of the job itself, for the position, and you have to make sure you be boss that you have a competent of English itself. It's helpful, helpful, sekali, yeah. very helpful. <laughs> yeah, jadi ini adalah found the right candidate sometimes. You lihat CV-nya seperti apa, dan di CV kita tulis ke kemampuan kita, kompeten kita in English itu uh, segera dilirik ya begitu. Bisa jadi dan dilihat ya. You have to try it. And then, your it of income. This is my slide. This is about English business concept. Business concept. Jadi saya jelaskan. I explain this on English for business context. Like that ya. Okay. The boss at the top. Of course, siapa yang mau jadi boss? Yeah, you have a big boss on your own company. You have a product, 
it's okay for you. So between an idea and versus many, an idea and versus many, yang mana yang lebih penting? Balance ya, harus di balance. Ada uang, ada ide, ada ide, ada uang. That is the rule in a business. And then what we call virtual here is a home work speech. When we perlukan we need enough work speech. What we call that virtual, virtual working. Something we need like this. Yes, this is uh, another home work speech. You say at home. Yeah, because of the pandemic situation, so we use virtual job. We do a virtual job, and then you, you of course, you need like this, this one to connect each other. Laptop, no, it's pretty. And then this one. <laughs> Glass of coffee. Of course, it's for you to make you not sleep anymore when you work at stay at home. Okay. This is our role of ESP in our business is okay? Okay, if you have any questions so far, you can discuss it uh, no? and then you can write your question and our classroom and then you can we can discuss each other at a WhatsApp group, okay? Getting enough for 11 meeting. So I'm going to